Hello. Um, hey, uh, again, a, a sweater uh, woven, not knit, woven uh, by the woman that was with me 42 years ago, not 43. 42 years ago, the last time I was at the uh, Museo de Arte Decorativas in, uh, in uh, Lisbon. Uh, and, you know, as I watched that, I wouldn't blame anybody if they just decided they can't stand to see the camera moving so fast. I understand. There's a cat here. Um, but, uh, again, I, I don't apologize too much. I, I'm sorry that it had to be like that, but, again, my battery was running low, and my purpose was not to make a movie. <laughs> my purpose was to go there and be reassured that that was still there and that I remembered it correctly. I think making a movie a documentary about that place would be a very good idea. Very carefully done. I think it could be superb. It could be fabulous. And if I ever go back, uh, I think I will. <laughs> the next time, I'll say the next time I go back to Lisbon, I'll spend much more time filming much more carefully and maybe just do uh, my own documentary about that place. Maybe. But uh, notice all the benches, the workbenches, the clamps, the vices, the tool racks, those benches. I have one. I have a bench, a workbench, like the ones you saw in the barn. And I plan to uh, make others. Uh, that's one thing I can do. I, I can't do that fine furniture making. I'm a carpenter, not a furniture maker. But I can make those benches, and I intend to do so. Um, Okay, uh, uh, today uh, the videos are going to start at the same place, uh, right in front of the shops, that wonderful view. Uh, it's in the evening, actually, but then uh, they'll go to the next morning. Then you'll see an aqueduct. I took the train out to Sintra. Uh, I should have drawn that, maybe. Sintra is not that far away. As a matter of fact, your, your Lisbon, Lisboa card covers the transportation out to Sintra and back. I, I'm almost certain. Now I use the Eurail Pass, but I could have used the Lisboa card as well. And if you go to Lisbon, you certainly should go to Sintra. Um, uh, so I, I, I go to Sintra, and uh, I don't take a taxi, I just walk from the train station. And uh, most tourists, what they do is they go up on top of the mountain, uh, take a taxi or whatever, bus, to go visit, I think it's the Pena Palace, I think it's called. It's a very peculiar palace in a, in a, right at the top of a mountain. It's really neat. It's cool. I've been there once before. Uh, I think just once. Yeah, I've been there just once before, I believe. Uh, and I liked it. Uh, but this time, I wanted to go to the Royal Palace. I had also been there once before with the woman that... Uh, wove the sweater, uh, and I never forgot those two chimneys, those two huge conical chimneys, and uh, the fact that they were over the kitchen, uh, the whole kitchen was inside the chimney. That's the part I remember the most. Uh, it's unmistakable. But, frankly, I was blown away on this trip by what I saw in that royal palace. And this morning, when I put these clips together, once again, I was blown away. It's just as well that I was speaking in, as I filmed, because I don't know if I could have spoken this morning. I was like speechless when I saw the unbelievable old world craftsmanship. I call it old world. Uh, uh, when I worked in the tr in, with craftsmen, they were in Brazil, new world craftsmen, and entirely different. Uh, the first time I ever ran into that it was when I got to Morocco after I had been in Brazil and I saw the kind of craftsmanship that was being done in uh, Fez in Morocco and I was ashamed really to even call myself an acquaintance of craftsmen because the ones in Brazil, they, they were poor people, they were peasants and they, they just, the skill is just staggering and, and you'll see that. Uh, I, I'm very sure uh, at the Palace of Sintra. Uh, I hope pausing helps a little. But even if you have to tolerate the moving camera, and even if pausing doesn't bring things into focus, I would still try it. 
I paused and paused and paused uh, this morning as I was looking at those. Uh, uh, so, uh, and, then, uh, and then once again at the end, after I come out of the, the palace, uh, 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 the last uh, clip you'll see is going out onto the street, which again is a little bit like coming out into the real world after having seen the wonders of that. So, I hope you enjoy them. See you next time.